Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. The first principle in the solid design is single responsibility principle. It represents S in solid. The single responsibility principle deals with the classes that try to do too much. So, according to this principle, a class should have only one responsibility. Or in other words, you can say a class should have only one reason to change. So let's say we have a class sale reports.php namespace app solid and class sale reports. And this class has a method export. And what this class does first it fetches the data from the database. So here we can say dollar sales is equal to db table from sales table latest get. First it has fetched all the data from the database and then it is going to return sales data in CSV format. Here I am not going to write to generate CSV format for now just return string csv format like this so if you see this method it is doing two jobs first it has fetched the data from the database and then it is going to generate csv format so this method has two responsibilities or you can say it has two reasons to change first for fetching data from the database and second to generate csv format and you know that in software development business requirements always change. So for example, let's say in future, we need to fetch the data between given dates. So this method going to accept start date and end date. So we need to fetch the sales reports between start date and end date. So here I'll say where between created at and then here I'll pass in array start date and end date like this and maybe in future you need to generate a PDF format as well. So next here what we will do here we will accept another variable let's say format default it is going to be CSV and here we will add a condition if format is PDF then generate PDF format. Otherwise, it should return CSV format. And after some time in future, you may have a requirement for JSON format as well. And for that, again, you will add uh, another if condition. And here you will check if a format is JSON, then return JSON format. Now, this method is doing a lot of things. First, generating data from the database and then return data in different formats. If your colleague is going to work on this project and if we see this method, it is going to be very difficult to understand what is going on here. He has to read this method for many times. The modification or bug fixing is going to be very difficult. So now let's refactor this. So first, let's extract this uh, query in the separate method. So I'm going to create a new method. Let's say its name is between and I'm going to copy this from here and here I'll say return this query and it is going to accept start date and date right here. Now this uh, sale reports method has between method which is going to fetch data between these given date and next here I'll say dollar this between and pass here start date and end date like this. Now what about these formats? Now here you may suggest that similar like this between method create separate method for each format. Something like this method PDF export and it is going to accept dollar data and then return PDF format something like this. And then in this if condition, we can say return dollar this PDF export. And here we pass 
sales this one similarly separate method for these format as well it still doesn't feel right because let's say in future you have requirement for another format let's say xls format and then again you going to copy this if condition and here check if format is xls then export xls format like this and look at this entire class it is also doing multiple jobs first it is fetching data from the database and then it has different method for different formats this class also violates single responsibility principle because it has multiple responsibility or you can say multiple reasons to change so how we can resolve this here we need to extract some of the logic into dedicated class for example look at this pdf export why we need this method in the sale reports class we should extract this pdf export to its dedicated class so here i'll create a new class let's say pdf export.php namespace app solid class pdf export and it has one method export which is going to accept data and then return pdf export like this and now we no longer need this method right here let's remove it similarly we will create a dedicated classes for each format so let's add more classes for json export.php and let's copy all of this content and paste it here here i'll say json export and here json export like this add another class csv export dot php and paste all these content here i'll say csv export and here return csv export like this and in the sale reports class we no longer need this export method so here i am going to remove this now you can see this sale reports has only single responsibility to fetch data from the database and these classes has a single responsibility to export data in specific format for these classes we should use interface but for now let's keep it simple i will talk about interface in the next principle now these classes looks very clean and easy to understand what this method is actually doing now if we need to export particular format what we can do let's say in the web.php right here let's say sale reports is equal to new sale reports and let's say we are going to export in pdf format so dollar pdf export is equal to new pdf export and then here we can say return dollar pdf export and then we can call export method in this method we need to pass sales data so here i'll say dollar sales report between start date let's say first jan 2022 and end date is 31st jan 2022 and if we go to browser localhost 8000 and we get pdf export similarly if we need csv export then here we will use csv export new csv export class and next here we will say csv export and call export method like this and it will work exactly same we get csv export and that looks much better you can see these classes are now very clean and easy to understand now you may ask that single responsibility means a class should have only one method that is not right a class can have multiple methods for example this sales reports class is related to sales report data 
so this class can have multiple method which are dealing with the sales data for example let's say you need uh, to fetch data for particular month so we can create uh, another method for month and it is going to accept a variable month and then here it is going to fetch data for given month similarly if we need to fetch data for particular year and then here we can create another method for year and then accept year variable and fetch data for given year so it can have multiple methods but its responsibility is single related to sales data let's see a one more example for laravel application in the beginning i forgot to mention that i am already in the laravel application so first let's close this and let's see the http controller post controller here we have store method let's see what it is doing first it is validating form data and then it is saving that data in the post table this method is already very simple and easy to understand but let's say it is doing too many things for example let's say it is also handling image upload or or sending email notifications to author followers or other many things so this method going to have too many responsibilities in that case we need to extract some of the logic into the dedicated class for example we can move this request validation into dedicated post request class and these into the post service class so in the terminal php artisan make request let's say class name is store post request and next request store post request and then we can move this logic from here to right here and now we can remove this next here instead of request we can import store post request like this and now for this logic we can create a dedicated post service class so let's say we have a services directory so services and in this services directory we have post service dot php namespace is app services and class post service class now in this post service let's say we have a method create let's say it is a static method and now from the post controller we can move all this logic right here in this method now let's import this post class and for this request data let's remove it and here we can accept data and pass that data right here like this now here in the controller we can say post service and then we can call create method and right here we need to pass dollar request only title and body or instead of this you can also pass this request like this and right here instead of this data we should accept store post request dollar request and here we can say request only title and body because a method should have single responsibility so you should create uh, other methods for these responsibilities as well now in the post controller this store method looks very clean and easy to understand what it is doing if uh, your class has too many responsibilities then in future modifications bug fixing or adding new features are going to be very difficult because first you have to read the code multiple time to understand what is going on in the method or you may hesitate to make modification because it may break the code somewhere else once class have a single responsibility they simply become very easy to work with 
other developers can also easily understand what the class does and bug fixing becomes a lot easier. I hope this lesson was easy to understand. If you like the video, hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.